just got to adjust uh, from the last cast I did, from the last Jera Cup, with four night ups in the semi-finals. Ah, that was beautiful. Neo, I tell you what, you missed something there. <laughs> I like night up mirrors, you know that. It was bear mirror like basically all the time. On Secret Valley, it was uh, Mountain Giants, which I thought was so cool because you know how I always keep on and go on uh, keep going on about mountain giants and healing, and there's of course fountains on Secret Valley. Yeah, oh, it was great. That's uh, that's really cool indeed. So remind, I'm actually surprised that he made it to the playoffs. He was in a quite a tough group with uh, War Chief, Romantic, and Czech, but he still made it and eliminated Romantic. That was uh, pretty impressive. And War Chief, well, not the Night Elf uh, killer anymore, I think. WFZ on the other side made it through a group with uh, Life Law Light and TBCBM. Also pretty strong. I did expect Life there, but it wasn't his tournament uh, so far. He played a lot better in the TWI. So I don't know, maybe just not his day or his days. I'm with you in a second. Okay. I got a so overlays. Okay, remind starting in the bottom right, of course, uh, BlizzCon champion, WC3L champion. WCG champion, <clears throat> he won it all basically. Even the stuff that Moon was not able to take home in his career. Players WFZ, uh, no big title to his chest if, I'm in, uh, if I remember correctly. He was in the finals of QSL um, some time ago, but not anymore. Although, well, uh, that was his biggest accomplishment, I think. And not qualified for WCA are both players. He remind will try to go through the North American qualifier once everything is uh, worked out. All right, and here we go. Demon Hunter gets to his almost level two. He managed not to deny a creep with the last hit of the, the Age of War. Well done. And WFZ, this reminds me of his old play style, being very, very aggressive right off the bat, not going for any creeping, which nowadays on most maps I feel like is standard go to level 2 or get near to level 2 with the DK and then run over and still try to harass the demon and keep him from level 3. Speaking of level 3, um, it's really hard here. Level 2 might be super easy for the demon hunter, but where do you go next? Most likely place is the Nulls where the DK is running right now. But when you go there, you get purged, you might get surrounded. The big Null does a lot of normal damage, dangerous for your demon hunter, and yeah kind of tough to go somewhere else because the Ancient of War, wherever he goes next, is kind of far away. And of course you want like the four safety archers or five, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Tier 2 tech on both sides, obviously a little bit ahead for the undead, so pretty even, uh, pretty normal, pretty standard in that regard. And now he's coming over with the ghouls, what we saw being quite successful from a few undeads in the past. How many do we have here? It's seven. So it's not like a huge 9 ghoul commitment, which we sometimes see, but it's not just the small 5 ghoul commitment, which leads to very quick tech. So, um, yeah, he wants to get something done here, not just keep the Demon Hunter from creeping. Indeed, I uh, just saw the Wisp spread of Remind. Like, he has Wisps everywhere on the map. Uh, that's kind of weird. He parked some in the base for a detonator, I guess, against the Skeletons, but that's not too much. Uh, now the archers are coming in, lots of wisps are coming back, but of course he lost a lot of time, the ghouls are taking care now, first one about to be down, but saved by the moon well. And so far this looking very good for WFZ, I think, not too many ghouls have been killed, the archers are, yeah, okay, now they're healthy again, but the moon juice is almost gone. I think this was pretty good, uh, pretty good um, disaster management though, by remind, it's a really stressful yeah. situation, when like eight ghouls run into your main, it was eight since he pulled one more uh, that was coming later, and all he lost was one wisp. Look at the DK's experience. Yeah, 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 25. He forced a bit of repair and moon juice, so that's some resources gone. Some wood, some lumber and some moon juice, which kind of you could call a resource for night elves. Kind of like corpses uh, for undead. But all in all, I think this... Oh, but he forgot the hunter's hall. Did he? Ah, no, okay. It's, oh, uh, it's next to the creep. A little late, but it's the same case for... WFZ, who is actually very late with its graveyard. Oh. Slow on the Demon Hunter, surround opportunity, WFZ, and it sticks! Here we go. Has to be the Town Portal, most likely, or can he get more damage out? Close it, oh, but at the same time opens it up, losing a ghoul in return. That was a slippery slope for WFZ. Lich is coming, no fiends yet, obviously, no slaughterhouse, obviously. 
and reminds Huntress Hall is finished and his tech is finished as well. So tech wise, he's Hopefully a little ahead. Getting the Naga now, most likely. Huh? No, nope. all right. Doesn't have the resources for now. Okay, there she is. Double Naga, cancel the Lich. Oh, interesting and dangerous choice trying to go for the cold arrow surround and he doesn't really get it and he lets it go surprisingly and he doesn't get the last hit either he wanted to trade that rather and he doesn't get the next surround as well oh boy we definitely saw some other undeads uh, pulling off some better surround skills and he's supposed to be the guy with a good ping here but remind getting you know away with the uh, one black eye only evading the one surround the top. skills of, of remind here and the not so impressive skills out of WZ I guess you could call it one more ghoul is gonna be biting the dust this is the second one in this game and does he want to detonate he does interestingly did you see that the sheep did a better block than WFC <laughs> <laughs> well that's just mean that's just I crazy. know, I'm behaving now. <laughs> Slaughterhouse is coming up. It's kind of late though, as we said, this graveyard was super delayed, so WZ definitely I'll smacking in his uh, lack. What, what, what do I want to say here? <laughs> Slacking in his macro, there we go, now I found the words. Tier 3, of course, is quite a decent chunk ahead for the undead, as it is most of the time. And he tries to keep on being aggressive here with a level 1 DK and a level 1 Naga and no boots of speed. If this Demon Hunter had level 3, this Naga would be the easiest snack ever. And he does he have... He really had the time to go for the shop so far. Because there was so much pressure from from WFC. But I think it's time for him now to go to creeps a bit. But he's just not doing it. He pulls more ghouls, 6 yeah, now. This... And the first fiends as well. This looks like his typical 2014 kind of game style. Be aggressive all the time. And then hit your tier 3 timing. And back then he always won, but, you know, nowadays this doesn't work that well anymore. But, one of the big key ingredients against this push is level 3 Demon Hunter and Master Bears. And level 3 Demon Hunter, again, with this being Ancient Isles, not so easy to get. I said this in the TW, uh, TWI cast last week that I think Remind is a great player if he has time to build up his army. But if he's under pressure... He oftentimes struggles, and that's why we see like the two phases of Remind. Um, sometimes he wins great games, and sometimes he loses uh, stuff with ease. Maybe WFZ saw that as well, and tries to dominate him like from minute one. Um, but this doesn't really work so far. Well, he has lost two ghouls for basically nothing in return. He's going to lose a third one. But the Demon is at level three. Is that worth it though? This is gonna be the fourth ghoul traded, or fourth ghoul given away, I, I guess you could say, for getting nothing, apart from time out of the Night Elf. But nothing resource-wise. So basically, this game, 480 gold, gold have been lost by WFZ, and nothing for Remind. I like how he's parking himself up here on the high ground, waiting for the ghouls to come in again, and the double slow once more hitting. I also like the Naga choice this game by Remind, and he's gonna get that one ghoul really wants it, and he gets it as well. Now the Demon Hunter might be running into the surround. Oh my god, is there no staff? There is a staff. Okay, so he's not playing with fire and burning his fingers here. But yeah, I like the Naga pick, as I said here, from Remind, because the Panda, of course, is great against ghouls, but only really starts shining on level 3. And when you can expect that your opponent is going for this tier 3 timing, it's very, very unlikely you're gonna have the time for a level 3 demon and a level 3 Panda. So, Master Training is done, Destroyer Upgrade is ready as well, so we're going into the late game and things get a little more exciting here. We have a level 3 Demon Hunter finally, with the Claws of Attack, the Orb and the Circlet. Naga picked up the boots, finally. Has a TP still and the staff. On the other side, WFZ is still with a triple level yeah. 1 hero combo. I think his game plan kind of got ruined this game. He wanted to go for his tier 3 timing with the Frenzy Ghouls, but he lost so many Frenzy Ghouls that it wasn't really that strong anymore. So now he decides to go into the late game, but now he is up against level 3 hero, as you said, with only level 1 heroes. And not just that, his army is also bad. He has two Fiends, a Destroyer, and two Ghouls. 
And he's going up against Master Bears. No invuls though on the Night Elf side, so maybe Hero Focus could be a potential. The Lich has full mana, gets burned right now. Not yet using the Nova. The DK though in trouble. Invul has to be popped. Saves him for seven seconds. Staff out comes towards the Demon, but the Lich man in so much trouble. The double slow again, hitting him hard. And Heal Potion at the very last second, saving him nicely. Now he gets the return kill maybe, if there is no DP, and there is no DP. And that's a devil level up. For the DK and the Naga, but the Demon Hunter must be soon back. He doesn't have the boots though, they were given over to the second hero. He tries to deny himself to the creeps and he gets it as well, giving up no experience towards the Demon Hunter. Does he get away without the aura? It does seem like it. And apparently WZ is gonna rebuy his hero at the tavern. Huh? Or maybe not. There was a town portal on the Naga, by the way. <clears throat> so. He did lose her regardless, but he got uh, a lot of it back, I think. Especially the Death Knight, if he's out, there's no aura, there's no healing, there's nothing. And Remind is pressuring further, 46 versus 45. Of course, now the production queue for WFC is pretty uh, pretty tight. The reinforcements arrive, like, just in time. The Boneyard is coming as well. And the Death Knight is back in a few seconds. He leveled up to level 2, unfortunately, for WFZ now, because that takes a lot more time than the newly built level 1-1. One -one. And there's an expansion attempt by Remind. Once again, as we see so often, double staff now on Remind. Which, uh, for some weird reason, many Night Elves nowadays don't do anymore. But this kill on the Naga for Remind might be pretty big because she's going to be level 2 now for quite a while if she doesn't solo creep extensively and that of course uh, yeah shows or exposes a per permanent vulnerability as we can see only 525 hit points on the lady healthstone now given over oh no actually it is on the demon hunter but the staff now yeah on both heroes but still the fact remains these undead heroes are supposed to carry in the late game along with the frostworms kind of but on level 222, that is hard to see, and especially with his inventory. He has an orb and nothing else. Look at the Zeppelin go! He has, yeah, well, two bears. Not that much damage. Okay, he swaps one, one archer now. That, okay, he blocked it off very well. I think a drop to the Haunted Goldman is not really possible. Town Portal now, he saw that somehow. Ah, with that uh, shade that is at the laboratory. Oh, he's what? he wants the web! Oh! Oh my god, if he had gotten that! Oh, so close! He didn't have the upgrade yet. He was still researching. But okay. if he gets that web, he was kind of banking on it, I guess. Because if he gets that, and if he surrounds the Zeppelin with everything he has, most of it dies when it crashes. So <laughs> that could have won that game by itself for him. A player's but the web wasn't ready yet. But still, things are looking very good for Remind. His plan didn't really succeed with this harass, but uh, Zeppelin is never wrong, I think. Well, against Web, it's not that useful, but it's still fast, so you can use it uh, to go from one place to another. Claws plus six for the Lich here as well. Argo for Incarnation for him. Not the best thing. And Remind used all the time to build the Expo. Creeps up his spot now with the uh, Three bears and the Demon Hunter, of course, easily doable. Getting closer to level 4, which is Evasion level 2, which is never wrong, especially against Undead. Uh, which will nuke your hero, most likely. And yeah, the Shade once again getting perfect information for him. Last game, Remind went for a really early expansion, only very late got into upkeep. So usually we see Night Elves uh, taking on 50 supply, uh, expanding on 50 supply. So when the expansion's done, you can kind of, you know, go into upkeep. But Remind doing it much, much sooner. And again having lumber issues. Now might be looking for a fight. We heard a, I heard a level up here somewhere. Level 3 on the Naga, not yet level 3 on the DK. So this coil, these coils are uh, still not that impressive. Demon Hunter almost level 4. And the Naga of Remind. Level 2 only. Still very, very squishy. We have level 3 Lich and Naga now, and two Frostworms. This damage is not to be underestimated. True that. And this time we have a Destroyer against the Rejuvenation, which we didn't have on Echo Isles. So, yeah, looking okay-ish. Oh, oh, the, the position Naga. for Remind is bad. The bear's all in the back. And the Naga way up front here, we see the first Reju being dispelled immediately. And she keeps on eating the damage. Where's the Coil Nova? Staff out comes first. 
But now there's no staff for the demon, but he still has the health stone. First bear dying very quickly, and so does the second. Yeah, this is the big magic damage, and the frost rooms now saving themselves above the forest as undeads are supposed to do, and... Remind taking a weird fight here before his expansion has paid off, and this was a horrible trade for him, losing two bears and a dryad for absolutely nothing. And now he has the big tanks again, the air bomb, the lit, uh, the two worms, the death knight hit level three, if I'm not mistaken. Remind is coming in again with a lot of dryads. The only thing I can see is that. If there's only Dryads, then the Worms are kind of useless. Okay, you can't snipe the Naga, you can't snipe the Demon Hunter. But that's got, that, that would be 20 supply, which is kind of useless. Also, no invuls here on the Knight of Sight. Of course, he had the Health Stone. But when you use the Health Stone, you can still be controlled. With the invul, he can't touch you. So I think Remind is definitely underestimating the pet potential and the importance of the health, uh, of the invuls. Is he going to get one now? Not at the moment. He's going to creep shade again, getting perfect information for the undead. Do we have Ancient of Wind again, by the way? No, we don't. This no, time we only have lore production. But once again, we have a very, very threatening army knocking at the door of Remind expansion. Is Remind going to defend here or is he going to let it go? Doesn't look like he has the greatest army at the moment. Yeah, kind of reminiscent of Echo Alt. Is. 70 food versus 63. Remind can't reproduce at the moment. Berserker and only one bear. That is, that seems to be okay for now. Oh, the second bear is being cut off and oh, should be good. dead. Yep. Boy, this is so much free experience. So for easy Remind. to take him out here with the frost worms uncontested by the dryads. Speaking of which, we have seven dryads. That is not enough against two frost worms and four fiends. Gets one fiend here, finally gets a uh, kill for free without having to trade something for it. But now the bear, the last one, dies super easy. Dispel against all the illusions from the Naga. And now the Dryads seem to be the focus. Or is it the Demon Hunter? Of course, the Frost Rooms, as you said, can't go for the Dryads since they're magic immune. Demon Hunter taking a lot of damage. No invuls anymore on him or healing. But of course, there's always the staff available on the Naga. Reserving it exclusively for the first hero has to use it. There we go. And, well, suddenly the fiends are gone. The Fog Lightning dealing quite a bit of damage here from Remind's side. And the Demon Hunter staffing back in again. Oh, it was onto an illusion. And the illusion got dispelled while the staff was coming in. He could have saved his Naga with his own staff, but no, it didn't work. And now the second hero is dead for the Night Elf. And the Demon Hunter is stuck somewhere in the middle. Probably wants to rebuy her at the tavern. But again, no lumber at all for that repurchase. And once more we see the expansion taking the fall. And WFZ again, driver's seat. That was pretty cool. Like, for WFZ, not for Remind, of course. But uh, seeing this is quite rare, I think. So, new fiends turn the fray to have something efficient against the Dryads, uh, the Worms, and the Air Bombs, and the Destroyer full health, which is uh, not how you should leave the fight. But of course, he has statues on the ground the entire time, which heal up. So. Last stand for Remind here now. He's trying to get his Naga back, but she was level 3, so it takes around 2 minutes. And I think he doesn't have the time at the moment. WFC trying to get rid of the Hunter's Fall, but that takes some time. Second Abomination. 2-0 upgrades on the Worms. Oh boy, look at the damage. There is a heal potion, yes. But for how long? And the heal no anti-air except the, the Dryads. The Worms are controlling the Demon Hunter, and of course the Dryads only. There's... <laughs> Absolutely nothing they can do against the ground army of WZ. So he's splitting this well. Honestly, at this stage of the game, it's no longer that hard to do. But he's doing it well regardless. And yeah, as you said, this Naga, even if she sees the light of day, can she turn the tide? Answer is uh, no, absolutely not. Honestly, this game's over. Remind is trying the best he can. Demon Hunter to rule them all. He has the orb. He's trying to kill one of the Frost Rooms here very, very slowly. One right click at a time, but the movements are falling. One of the bears has died here as well. The dryads can't really come in. They get focused out by the orb too easily. DK is getting more mana, healing up his air units. Here comes the Naga back. All right, can maybe this be the last stance? But the dryads, they're just being wasted away on the left side. Yeah, they can't do anything. They walk into uh, four fiends and the Naga and the Lich, most likely, so... They will just fall once after, uh, one after another. There's no hippos to buy some time with. Impulse on the Naga, desperate hero focus, but no chance. 
for Remind. And so he's down at the loser bracket and WFZ advances to the winner bracket semifinal.